Hi there, so today I want to answer this question of is trying enough? Or in other words, is doing your best the only thing that matters? You see, I've had many people over the course of my lifetime give me great advice, but sometimes after I've come out of something, maybe failing at it or not doing the best that I could have done, they'd, al they'd always say to me, Kenny, it's okay, just as long as you do your best, as long as you're trying, that's the only thing that counts. You know, and from my perspective, I wish that was the truth, but honestly, I did not feel like trying was all that was important. I always thought that results and getting to be the actual best or winning at something or doing it the right way is the best because you can try all you want, but then you can fail or you could be working on a project and it won't turn out the way you planned it to turn out. So yes, you tried, you gave it your all, but in a way that's really, really disappointing if you get to the end and realize that you just don't have what it takes to fulfill the results that you want. This whole thing has got to be the most difficult thing that I have to deal with being the person who I am. You know, I'm always trying to understand these things about life myself and then I'm, of course I'm trying to uh, reciprocate these ideas that are going inside my mind to you through these videos, but this has got to be the biggest problem because everybody has this like idea of what you want to be at. Everybody sees the results happening all around them in other people's lives or you know you see other people do great things and you say I want to do those things too or you see other people as just great people and you want to be a, a person who's very similar to them but then when you actually get back down to reality and look at you and who you are and the results that you have proven Oftentimes, you always fall short of your expectation level and like I just said, I mean that is something that is going to really bring you down and make you depressed and make you hate yourself and get you really disappointed and this does not affect our level of happiness the way that we want it to. So I guess what I'm really talking about here is how happy are you with yourself and with your life? and you know, do you feel like what's going on in your life is fulfilling or do you feel like you're falling short? I mean, that's the big question and I want to attempt to give you the shortest answer possible. I honestly think that in a way, depression, not major depression, but just the idea of being depressed every once in a while is a really good thing because if you don't have that thing that brings you back down to earth and back to reality, you're going to think of yourself as this person who is able to do these great things. You're going to think that you can do whatever you want to do in life. But I think that depression is just the way that the universe kind of works to bring you back down to where your level is actually at. Because if you don't know where you actually fall in life, if you don't know what you can and cannot accomplish, then you're not going to know where you should start when it comes to working to get better at these things and start living the life that you want to live. So establishing a starting point is very important. I don't know why I'm smiling. I just kind of sounded weird. I swear, sometimes I just start talking and I don't even stay on point. So let's just get back on topic. Come on, Kenny. Come on. I can do it. Is trying enough? Let me think about this. God, I need to write these things down before I start the video. Yes, trying is enough. Trying is enough because that is all that you can do. If you have tried your best, you have completely given the universe, given life, given yourself all that you could possibly give it. So for you to expect to get something more, like better results out of what you can completely do, then that's crazy. You can't go beyond your own limits. The whole point of personal development is to increase the capacity for the things that you can do. It's to grow. The whole idea is just growth. What can you do to get better? How can you become smarter? How can you get better at doing a certain thing? How can you get better at understanding life and yourself and everything? And that's the whole question. How can you grow? You can't grow unless you know where you are to start off and I guess that's the whole point so if you don't try your best you won't grow but if you try your best and you fail that's good because that gives you an idea of where you're at you know the, let, let's just get back down to reality here a minute 
You might look at the world and see other people doing these amazing things, things that you wish you could do. But you know, you have to really, really look at yourself. You are not them. Remember that. You are not anybody else besides you. If you're the kind of person who compares yourself to others, just don't do it. Because other people who are probably producing better results in their life than you are in your life, or so you think, they're only doing those things because they have the resources to do it. They have been surrounded by a different culture than you have, so they're doing better. They're raised in a different family, they have different biology than you. They're just a certain way that allows them to reach higher heights than you can in certain areas. But this is the whole goal for you, is to try to understand what do you have that other people don't. And when you can truly understand the value that you can bring that nobody else can in the same way, that's when you can truly feel like you matter, that's when you can feel like you can make a difference. Okay, I'm trying to break this down step by step, but I feel like I'm just talking and it's not really getting through to you. I'm really careful about what I say because I don't want to ever tell you something that is going to turn out to be stupid advice or inaccurate or whatever. You need to somehow find a way to be happy with what you have. That doesn't mean that you need to let go of those great ideas or expectations that you have that you want to meet one day, but it does mean that you need to be able to see the difference between what you want and what you have. And then when you can see how you can tweak the things that you're doing in your life, or maybe just dramatically shift the way you're doing things in your life, then you can actually get closer and closer to the results you want. But the thing is, if you're not actually getting closer to living the way you want to live, to getting the things you want to get, you need to realize that there is something going on that is wrong. And it's either what you're doing or what you think is possible. Because maybe what you want is just impossible to accomplish. So in that case, doing your best and trying is absolutely the only thing that you can do. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to let you be the judge. Is this a good video or a bad video? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Please make this clearer for me. I'm trying to make it as clear for you as I possibly can, or maybe spark something in your mind that will get you to understand that, hey, what you're doing is perfectly fine, that you are a great person no matter what. I mean, yes, I'm trying to be positive and keep you in the happy level, whatever the heck that means, gosh. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed right now because I don't feel like I'm talking clearly. I didn't think through all these things that I'm saying. Is it okay if I swear? I want to swear. God, fuck this video. Like, I love you and I want to give you the best advice I can, but... This is not going on YouTube, is it? Yes, it is. I'm going to upload this video. I promise I won't ever make a video like this ever again, but just for the record, hey, I tried.